Beloved, this is another day the Almighty Jehovah has given to you and I. And let us thank him in a prayer because he has given us a word. Shall we pray? Mighty Lord, mighty King, mighty Jehovah, covenanted God. We thank you for a day like this. It is by your power, by your might, by your authority. All things are naked before you for giving us another day for your children to survive. It is only your mercy that you have done this for us. And we appreciate you, mighty Jehovah, the King of glory. We thank you for another day for your children to survive. It is you alone that have the mercy. May your name be praised and adored forever and forever, O oh Lord. Your word is settled for your children. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, this is another day. He has given us a word. And this is by Apostle John, the one who walked with Christ, a disciple of Christ. So beloved, without wasting time, the title of the message, the new egg and the new the new egg and the new heaven. So without wasting time, let us go to Revelation 21. And I read. Now I saw a new heaven and a new egg. For the first heaven and egg has passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as the bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, God himself will be with them and be with their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death and sorrow, nor a crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things has passed away. We continue, verse five. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, write for these words are true and faithful. Six. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the foundation of the water of life freely to him who tests seven. He who comes shall inherit all things, and I will be his goal, and they shall be my son. Eight. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abomination murders, sexual immoral, sorceries, adulteries, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burn with fire and brimstone, which is the second day. Beloved, this is very serious. John, the apostle, the disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ, was told by God to write all these things down. For who? For you and I. Beloved, all what we read, it's very, very serious for those who are not serving him because he said he is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. So beloved, we have to be aware that he said the new heaven and the new earth. He is the owner of the life 
He is the owner, the creator of the universe. He said he is going to do a new thing for those who he will abide with. So beloved, are you part of his new Jerusalem? And that new Jerusalem is not just going there. You have to do what our Lord wants us to do. We have to avail ourselves, serving in spirit and in truth. If you love him, you will obey his commandment. So beloved, let us be aware what is ahead of a man is very, very serious. Because the new Jerusalem, he has prepared it and he is going to live with his saints. So this morning, are you one of his saints? I myself, I have to ask myself, am I one of his saints? I have to do the right thing because you cannot enter the new Jerusalem just like that. As he mentioned in verse 8, he said, but the cow live unbelieving if you are not serving him. That means you are not believing him. You are not part of him. The immoral, sexual, the sorceress, adulteress. He has mentioned all this, the medics. They are not part. They will not enter into the new Jerusalem. And he said, all these liars, all what he mentioned, shall have their part in the lake. Would burn with burning stone, which is the second day. Beloved, see how it is. He has mentioned it to you and I. So this morning, we have to focus on him and change our ways and not to go into the second day. So this morning, the lake, he has mentioned it, the lake of fire. And beloved, who want to be burned? I don't want to be burned. So you also, but we have to do the right thing so that we don't go to the lake of fire. So this morning, John is telling us this morning in Revelation 21, it is a choice, beloved. Only today we can change our mind and focus on him only, our savior. He is coming soon when the trumpet sound. Where are you heading to? Beloved, this is very, very serious. We have to repent from our wicked ways because the burning fire, he has mentioned it to you and I as we read it. So beloved, let us be aware. King of glory, have mercy upon us. Deliver us from every affliction. Holy Spirit in us will help us. So beloved, let us be aware and focus on Christ only because he alone is the owner. He alone is coming to judge every soul who will stand before him. So this morning, the message has come. Yours is seen, mine is seen. But assess yourself. Those who have not accepted him, even if you have accepted him, you have to do the right thing, his commandment. As he said, some people will say, Lord, Lord. And he said, it isn't all that call me Lord, Lord, who enter into my kingdom. So beloved, let us be aware. Focus on him, change our, way, our ways, repent from our sins because 
Our Lord Jesus Christ hates sin. So this morning, we thank him for giving us the way has come for. Assess yourself. I will also assess myself and obey his commandments. We give him all his glory. We give him all his honor for a message like this. This is what all we need this end time so that we can change and do the right thing. And when the trumpet sound, we will be with him. We give him all his glory. Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, our friend, help us to run away from sin so that we will not dwell in sin. We thank you for giving us the utterance and also the word that has come. Spirit of the living God, may you bless your ancient prophet, Prophet Penel, the wife, the children, the listeners that avail themselves in a daily basis to listen what you have given to your prophet. Oh, King of glory, Holy Spirit, we adore you. We love you that you have given us a way. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you for giving us the message like this. In Jesus Christ's name, your message have come forth. Amen.